leaf miners. Let's have a look at what is a leaf miner. What damage do leaf miners cause to clivias? The life cycle of leaf miners. And how do you get rid of leaf miners on your clivias? Okay, first of all, a leaf miner is a small little fly that lays an egg below the leaf of your plant. It hatches into a larvae which bore into the plant material and then it starts eating a whole little pathway root and that's where the name leaf miner comes from. It then goes into a pupa stage after which a new adult emerge and that's basically the life cycle of a leaf miner. This whole life cycle takes in the region of between three and seven weeks. So how do you know if you've got leaf miners on your clivias? Well, it's pretty easy to see and uh, I'm going to show you here a very good example. So this is this is what it looks like. So typically what will happen is I hope I show right here. So you'll see where the leaf miner enters the leaf. It, it makes a, a very thin little let me just show you there. It makes a very thin little pathway and then as it eats along this pathway becomes thicker and thicker as, as it goes on and then basically it gets to a point where the the larvae reaches adulthood and uh, or, or, or becomes mature and uh, I just want to see here there you go if 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 you have a look here I hope you can see there's the the larvae that's gone into a pupa stage now so yeah you can see the whole cycle here um, Okay, so, so why is a leaf miner bad for your clivias? Well, obviously, the larvae eating the plant tissue is what's causing damage to your plant. Um, so, it doesn't look good. Um, you're probably, with time, going to lose this leaf or it's always going to have these marks. And uh, there's also, you know, a big chance for secondary uh, infection with, uh, with a fungus or bacteria. So that's that's the risk that you have, and um, you know maybe on a on a mature plant, if it's got twenty or thirty leaves, and uh, you've got one leaf that you can cut off, it's not the end of the world. But um, on seedlings, you know if you've got two three leaves and uh, you lose the new small leaf, I mean that's a big setback for your plant. And uh, for me, that's really where where I've been hit hard the most with uh, with these culprits um got another another example here let me just show you so um so there you can see the thin pathway and there let me have a look yeah there it goes a bit thicker thicker as it moves along and then right at the end you get to the stage where there it gone there it's gone to and there is the pupa sitting so that's going to actually hatch into the into the mature larvae oh, into the mature adult sorry a bit of coffee in the morning okay so how do we treat our plants how do we get rid of these leaf miners um, leaf miners are pretty difficult to get rid of what I found to work the best for me is um, to to basically go in with a with a double approach so the first thing that you want to do is you want to target the adult which is a small little fly now that fly is about I would say three to five millimeters the ones that I've seen around here in my net houses so you want to target those adult flies especially the females who's laying the eggs 
and uh, the best way to do that is to spray a contact pesticide so um, what I do is I spray when when I see that there are leaf miners around which is normally in the summer months um, I'll take a contact insecticide and I'll spray that maybe once a week I would say at least over a period of let's say two months so you're trying to break that seven week cycle so let's say it's roughly two months so basically for two months you're gonna have to make sure that there's no new ones that's getting to adulthood and that can lay eggs um, so the first thing is to spray to try and kill these these flies so the second thing is to treat your plants with a systemic pesticide so what will happen is if those little eggs hatch underneath the leaf and that larvae enters the leaf and it starts eating it's still very small and can easily be killed with a systemic pesticide so i just use coin or um, you know you don't always get rid of them that easily and uh, you need to make sure that all your plants does have um, a fair amount of coin or in their system um, so i would say you drench your plants at least one time with a with a good dose and then uh, another week thereafter you do a follow-up and i would say about seven to ten days after that your plants will be actually only then ready to from the inside to fight these larvae of the leaf miners so to sum up it's a double approach you do you go systemic you try and kill the larvae inside the leaves you also go contact to try and get rid of the leaf miner flies hopefully you don't have this problem but if you do i hope that this video is going to help you to first of all identify what it is and also to be able to treat them and uh, hopefully get rid of them soon please like and share this video with your clever friends also please subscribe to our channel clevias for africa on youtube and click on the notification bell so that you are informed always when there are new videos released on our channel here Happy Kivia breeding. Until next time. Bye-bye.